Dear students, last lecture we talked about the pH calculations for different solutions. Uh, we discussed together the pH calculation for solutions of strong acids and strong bases and the pH calculations for the solutions of weak acids and weak bases. Uh, in this lecture, we will begin uh, to start to calculate the pH for solutions of salts. We will start with the solutions of salts of strong acids and strong bases. The salts of strong acids and strong bases are completely ionized in water. They don't hydrolyze. So uh, the molar concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to the molar concentration of the hydroxyl ion in these solutions and are equal to 10 to the power minus 7 molar. Uh, these solutions are neutral in reaction. Example, the pH of sodium chloride or sodium sulfate is equal to 7. Sodium chloride is a salt of strong acid and strong base. It is a salt uh, which uh, is produced from the reaction of sodium hydroxide, a strong base, with HCl, a strong acid. Also, sodium sulfate, uh, it is produced from the reaction of sodium hydroxide, a strong base, with sulfuric acid, a strong acid. Okay? يبقى احنا لما يجي لي مسألة ويقول لي احسب التركيز, sorry, احسب ال pH the solution of sodium chloride, whatever the concentration of it. Hadid li ayy concentration, 0.1 molar, 1 molar, 2 molar, whatever. Hal ana haqsib haqa? La, masala zay di ta'atabar sahla giddan, ala tool, it is equal to 7. Whatever its concentration. Nafs is shi'il sodium sulfate. So, if in the exam you will find a problem which states to calculate the pH of a solution, of the sodium chloride salt or sodium sulfate salt, uh, which are examples of salts of strong acids and strong bases. So whatever the stated concentration of the salt in the problem, the answer will be equal to seven directly without any calculation because it is a salt of strong acid and strong base, okay? Now we will discuss the pH calculation for salts of weak acids and bases. Salts of weak acids or bases react with water to give basic or acidic solutions respectively. This phenomenon is known as hydrolysis. Hydrolytic reaction occurs due to the tendency of ions of the salts of weak acids or bases to react with the hydrogen ion or the hydroxyl ions of water, forming slightly ionized acids or bases. The reaction of these salts with water is incomplete. It reaches an equilibrium point. Its equilibrium constant, the hydrolysis constant, I give it the symbol KH. Okay, uh, salts of weak acids and strong bases. Example, a very famous example of the salts of weak acids and strong bases is the sodium acetate. The sodium acetate comes from the reaction of sodium hydroxide, a strong base with a weak acid, the acetic acid. Uh, it is a strong electrolyte. Sodium acetate is a strong electrolyte and it is completely ionized. That is to say 100% anionized. In addition, the anion of the salt of a weak acid is a bronsted base, which will accept protons. The anion here uh, of this salt, for example, is the sodium acetate salt. The anion of sodium acetate is the acetate moiety. This acetate, it is the anion of the sodium acetate salt. Okay? It acts as a bronsted base. In the reaction, it will accept protons. Okay? So 
we agreed that the anion of the salt of the weak acid is a bronzed base, which will accept protons. In this example, uh, it is the acetate anion. It is partially hydrolyzed, it partially hydrolyzes in water. The water in this reaction will react as a bronzed acid, okay? As a result uh, of this reaction, uh, will be the formation of hydroxide ion and the corresponding undissociated acid. We can see the equation. Here we can see uh, the acetate anion, which uh, we call it base 2, uh, will react with the water. Water heal will react as an acid, as a bronzed acid, and I will give it the name acid 1. Uh, a hydrolytic reaction, a hydrolysis will occur, and the result will be the formation of acetic acid. I will name it acid 2 with the release of hydroxyl ions base 1. Okay. The ionization is known as hydrolysis of the salt ion. The ionization constant for the above equation is equal to the basicity constant of the salt. Because it hydrolysis, sodium acetate is a weak base. It is the conjugate base of acetic acid. The ionization constant for the last equation is equal to the basicity constant, Kb, of the salt. Uh, there is a very important note we must mention here. The weaker the conjugate acid, the stronger is the conjugate base. This relation is a very, very important relation. The weaker the conjugate acid, the stronger is the conjugate base. The hydrolysis constant can be calculated from two constants, Kw and Ka. For a salt of concentration, Cs, the pH can be calculated as follows. K hydrolysis is equal to the molar concentration of acetic acid multiplied by the molar concentration of the hydroxyl ions divided by the molar concentration of the acetate ion. This is equal to uh, the molar concentration of the hydroxyl ion square divided by Cs. Kb is equal to Kw divided by Ka. As, as we agreed before, Kw is equal to Ka times Kb. So Kb is equal to Kw divided by Ka. And we agreed that Kb is equal to Kh. So we will continue the equation. Kb is equal to Kw divided by Ka, which is equal to Kh which is equal to uh, the molar concentration of the hydroxyl ion square divided by Cs. So uh, the molar concentration of OH is equal to the square root of Kh times Cs, which is equal to the square root of Kb times Cs, as Kh is equal to Kb. So we can substitute it in the equation. Now we will have an example. Calculate the pH of 0.1 molar solution of sodium acetate, given that the pKa value is equal to 4.76. Given in the problem the pKa value, and I want to know the pKb value. Uh, all of us know knows that pKb is equal to 14 minus pKa using the calculator, so pKb is equal to 9.24. Also, I want to calculate the PCS, the PCS. PCS is equal to minus log uh, the molar concentration 
of the salt. The concentration of the salt is expressed in the problem here. It is given that solution of sodium acetate of concentration 0.1 molar. So PCS is equal to minus log 0.1 using the calculator, it is equal to 1. So directly I write the equation. Which equation I will use in this problem? I look to the problem. It is a solution of sodium acetate. What is sodium acetate? It is a salt. A salt of a weak acid, the acetic acid, and a strong base, the sodium hydroxide. It is sodium acetate. So I will use the equation for the calculation of the pH of salt, which is formed of weak acid and strong base. The equation is pH is equal to 14 minus half PKB plus PCS. I already found PKB and I already found PCS. I, I do direct substitution in the equation and using the calculator, the answer is 8.88, okay? Now we will discuss the pH calculation of salts of weak bases and strong acids. For example, the ammonium chloride salt. Uh, this salt is a salt of weak base and strong acid. It is formed from the reaction between ammonium hydroxide, which is a very famous weak base, and hydrochloric acid, a very famous strong acid. Ammonium chloride is a strong electrolyte and it is completely ionized. Its hydrolytic reaction is as follows. Ammonium plus water, it will give ammonium hydroxide plus the release of protons or hydrogen ions. The pH can be calculated in the same way as before. So uh, the molar concentration of hydrogen ion will be equal to the square root of Ka times Cs. And the pH is equal to half pKa plus pCs, okay? I want you to know the final equation, the equation for the calculation of the pH. Now we will solve an example. Calculate the pH of a 0.01 molar solution of ammonium chloride. Given that PKB is equal to 4.76. Uh, first, I want to think, what is ammonium chloride? Is it an acid? It's an base? It is a salt? Yes, it is a salt. Which kind of salts? Ammonium chloride. It is a salt of weak base, ammonium hydroxide, for example, and a strong acid, hydrochloric acid. So, I will write down the equation for pH calculation of salt of weak base and strong acid. I want to know the pKa because I will use it in the equation. In the problem, the pKb is given. I know the relation between pKa and pKb. pKa plus pKb is equal to 14. So I will calculate the pKa. pKa is equal to 14 minus pKb is equal to 9.24. I want to know also the PCS. Uh, the concentration of the salt is given in the problem. In the problem, it is mentioned the solution is uh, 0.01 molar uh, concentration. So I will use this concentration to calculate the PCS, which is equal to minus log the molar concentration of the salt solution. So PCS is equal to 2. Now I write down the equation. pH is equal to half pKa plus PCS. Uh, by substituting by pKa value and PCS value, the result is pH is equal to 5.62. Now we will discuss the pH calculation of solutions of acid salts. Solutions of weak acid salts of the type HA carrying negative charge are amphiprotic. They can ionize both as acids and a 
as bases. Um, a very famous acid salt is the bicarbonate anion. The structure of the acid salt contain a hydrogen atom in the anion uh, structure. Bicarbonate, HCO3, carrying negative charge. The hydrogen atom here makes the salt an acid salt. Okay, uh, now we understand what is an acid salt. Okay, a very famous example of acid salts is the bicarbonate salts. Uh, so we will uh, discuss how to calculate the pH of solutions of acid salts, for example, solutions of sodium bicarbonate. Now we will solve an example. Calculate the molar concentration of hydrogen ion and pH of 0.1 molar solution of sodium bicarbonate. K1 is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the power minus 7. K2 is equal 6 times 10 to the power minus 11. Uh, the molar concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to the square root of K1 times K2. K1 and K2 are given in the problem, so I will substitute for it in the equation. And using the calculator, the answer is 4.5 times 10 to the power minus 9. pH is equal to minus log the molar concentration of hydrogen ion, so pH is equal to 8.35. Uh, I can make another uh, solution for this problem. pH is equal half, uh, I open the brackets, pq1 plus pq2 is equal to half uh, PK1 minus log K1, I substitute for the value. PK2 minus log K2, I substitute for the values. And using the calculator, I will have the same answer. Uh, an important note that the concentration has no effect on the pH calculation of acid salt. We must know very well uh, this uh, important information that the concentration has no effect on the pH calculation of acid salt. وده واضح جدا لان التركيز او الكونسنتريشن مش باينه في المعادله مش موجوده في المعادله بتاعه حساب ال pH. As we notice, everyone noticed that in the equation for the calculation of pH of acid salt, I can't see a concentration term. Only pK1 and pK2 or K1 and K2. Okay? So the concentration has no effect on the pH calculation of acid salt. Uh, 